Yo, 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 boop, goop, hey everyone, it's Andy Ritchie here. We have another video from the component series. This one's all about the collectible items, how they can be added, how you can use them in quests, and we're also going to cover tags a little bit in this because it's quite important to the collectible feature. If we make an item collectible, there's two options we have with that. I've already put two keys down here, you can see. The first one is the player can just run into it and collide with it to collect. The second one is the option that the player has to look at the actual asset. So if they run into it, it does nothing, they actually have to look at the asset and press E to collect. So, let's have a look how we've done that over here. So we've started with two keys, and when we put the asset in, let's have a look. You can just search for it, hold shift to snap, and then place it in here. So, at the moment, it just comes as an animated decoration. That's because it's spinning around here and showing the animation. Um, we're going to change that and we're going to change that to none on the behavior and add our component as the collectible. So once we've added a collectible here, this is the action required to collect the asset. So that was the collision option or the player having to press E to interact with the asset. So we can just drop down and change between the two. Interaction E and Collision Collide. The display name here, we can say that is a key. And the collection amount is one for this item. If it had more of the lucky gems and the catalyst, then this would be higher. So if we just press tab, we can jump in. And if we run up to the key we've placed, we'll collect it. And in the bottom right of the screen, you can see it says one times key because that was the name of the item. So if it's for a certain quest or something, you can change it here to uh, quest five key or something like that. So the player's got a little bit more information. So once again, we've got the interaction or we've got the collision. From there, we can edit the logic as well and we get a little bit more settings that we can mess around with, one of them being the collection sound. So we can add a sound when the player collects the item, they'll hear a noise. So we can have a generic coin, say, and if we go into the game, and if we go in, we can hear the coin sound as we collect the key. So our other options when we edit the logic as well is we can have a message upon the collection. So if, for example, when the user collected this key, we wanted a door to open, we could go into here and we could create a message as um, open door one, for example, and we'll add that message in. And I'm just going to show you quickly, but we will go over the door behavior at some point as well. But here we have the door message required, we can remove one and change the message to door key um, what was it to? change the message to open door one open door one there so now when we go into the game and we move through the door open and we've got the key perfect so I wanted to cover tags in here a little bit as well because People might use the collectible function as um, one of the as a quest. Sorry, and if you go into the rules and you add a quest here, you can see that the third option down is a counter, and it counts collected objects. Now, it'll count the objects with the tag here, so you can change that, or you can use the one that's in there. But I always recommend you change it. You could say quest one um, key. And we want to collect one of those. So that quest one key tag, we need to apply that to our key here as well. So if we click on the key and scroll down, we can add the tag there as quest one key and just hit enter. So then when we come into the game, we'll get two default quests here because I already have one as well. You can see that the one on the right is the bottom one is for one. So once we collect that key, it's counted as that quest and it's completed. So that's how you can use the add the collectible 
um, component to the assets in the game. Those are the two options that you've got and you can use the send message as well. Um, that can be to open doors to trigger events, anything that you can think of. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the metaverse guys. Boop, goop, thank you very much. Like and subscribe.